Get the coins for the players you want at Mutt Reserve. Use code MILLION for 15% off. What's up everybody? This is Million Dollar Mutt here again with another video. And today, guys, I'm going to talk to you all about the best abilities to get as far as brawler, sprinter, acrobat, shaker. Guys, I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people have been asking a lot of questions about that. I know it's very early in the game right now, uh, but a lot of people are already curious about it. They want to start spending training on it so that way they can build towards uh, maxing out those chemistries. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's get into it. Uh, let me show you how it's looking guys if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button show some support to this channel I appreciate all of you uh, Put a like in the video if you liked it and also turn on your bell notifications that way you're notified when videos go live uh, But anyways guys, uh, here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go over uh, real quick uh, What's going on here now this year is very weird uh, this year. Um, they're taking away a lot of things uh, If you add something is it worth it? Uh, I think some of them are, but a lot of them are not. Uh, for instance, we're going to start off with Sprinter, guys. And uh, me, every year I usually get Sprinter. I mean, that's the way to go. You get that plus two speed. Uh, the only thing this year, guys, is we have a new, I think, change of direction. I don't know if that was here last year. If it was, let me know. I don't think it was. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, Sprinter takes away a lot of things. Now, let me show you. Let me start right here. Okay, guys requires five components now remember before in the past it'll be 30 to max out now this year is 40. uh you get plus one acceleration at five components minus one strength minus one agility plus one speed so right off the bat you're getting two to take away two so you're at zero uh then the third one you're gonna add two and take away one you get one acceleration one jumping and one less change of direction which change of direction, I believe it will probably go with agility because agility is how it reacts to the joystick and change of direction is probably how it reacts to the joystick. So those right there, you're taking away a lot right there. Uh, you're going to take away minus one strength again, minus one agility. You're going to get another plus one speed and you're going to take away another change of direction. So you're going to have minus two agility, minus two change of direction and minus two strength. Guys, that's a lot to take away for that extra speed. Well, you notice it in the game. I don't think so. I mean, you're still getting like last year ran from behind sometimes. Uh, Barry Sanders, uh, probably with the most speed right now in the game on this team. And, and I get caught from behind sometimes. Uh, but you can see here, guys, uh, you get plus one acceleration. So that means let's let's add up all the pluses. You get one, two, three, four, five. And what do they take away? They take away one, two, three, four, five, six, guys. So you're at negative one. Uh, so to me, Sprinter is not the way to go this year, uh, especially for me saying that. I mean, it, it really took a lot because I really like that plus two speed. But no, guys, I'm not going to lose uh, minus two strength, minus two agility and minus two change of direction. I'm not going to do that, especially on my corners. Um, shaker, guys, you get plus one change of direction with five components. At 15, you get plus one agility, plus one acceleration, minus one jump. That's not a big deal at minus one jump. I mean, you're still going to get those animations on defense. Uh, re requires 25 components. You're going to get minus one strength. You're going to get a plus one speed and a minus jump again. So at 25 components, you're going to have, let's see here, uh, uh, change of direction, one, two, three, four, and they're going to take away three. So you're at plus one there. Now in tier four, you're gonna, they're going to take away strength, Add an acceleration, add a change of direction. So let's add this up in total, guys. You're gonna get a plus one change of direction, plus one agility, that's two. Acceleration is three. Speed is four. Acceleration is five. Change of direction is six. And they're taking away uh, jumping, minus one, minus two strength, minus three jumping, minus four strength. So you're gonna get, you're still gonna be plus two here, guys. So this, this one does not look too bad, especially you get that, plus one speed, you get the plus two agility and plus two change of direction, you get plus two acceleration. Uh, so yeah, that one looks pretty good so far. Out of these two, I would go with Shaker. Uh, now guys, uh, this is more for like the skill positions, I do wanna say that. A uh, Leaper here, Leaper here, you get a plus one jump, plus one strength, minus one agility, plus speed, plus acceleration, plus jump, and minus one change of direction. So this one here is not too bad if you're trying to be conservative. Uh, you get a plus 
plus, that's two, plus speed is three, plus acceleration is four, and plus jump is five. Now they're taking away just agility and one change of direction. Uh, so this one here, I mean, wow, one, two, three, four, five, and they take away two. So you're up three, uh, but you're losing agility and change of direction. You're still getting the plus one speed and plus one acceleration. Yeah, guys, this one here does not look too bad either. Now, Acrobat. Acrobat is an interesting one. In fact, it was one of my favorites when I looked at it, and I'm going to show you why. At five components, you get plus one agility, which is really good. At 15, you get a plus one change of direction. You don't lose anything yet. Now, at 25 components, you're going to get a plus one speed, minus one acceleration, and a plus one jump. And then at 40, you're going to get a minus one strength and a plus one agility. Now, this one here, guys, this one's... Uh, this one's up there for me, and the reason being is you're going to get plus, plus, that's two, three, four, five, and they're going to take away two. So kind of like a uh, leaper, uh, but only what I like about this is you get that plus one agility, plus one change of direction, plus two agility, I should say. You get the plus one speed and the plus one jumping. Now, the plus one jumping, does it help much? I don't know, uh, but I'm saying more for the two times agility and the plus one change of direction, plus one speed. Now you do lose an acceleration. Uh, this one here could be good, especially if you have those corners that have high acceleration or already uh, taking away one um, acceleration ain't gonna do much. Uh, now as you get later in the year, this might be the go-to one, in my opinion, just because you only lose minus one strength. And if that acceleration is high on your players, like a Barry Sanders who has high acceleration, um, yeah, this could be pretty uh, interesting right here. And then, guys, Brawler. Brawler's an interesting one. Uh, it was uh, Brawler and Sprinter. Also, Shaker was the way to go last year. Uh, Brawler now this year uh, takes away some losses uh, like Sprinter uh, more than last year. Uh, you're going to get a plus one strength, plus one speed, minus one acceleration. Now, whoa, you can see there I got one through two. I believe you get a plus one strength and then the second slot at 15 components, you get a plus one speed minus one acceleration. Now to me, up to 15, that's pretty good to get a plus one strength and a plus one speed right off the rip at 15 components. You do lose an acceleration. Uh, you get a plus one strength minus one agility at 25. At 40, you get a plus one speed minus one acceleration minus one jump minus one change of direction. So this year there taking away a jump and a change of direction. Last year was just minus two strength and minus two, um, I'm sorry, minus two strength, minus one acceleration, I think last year, and minus one agility. This year, you're gonna get minus two acceleration and minus one agility and minus one jumping and minus one change of direction, wow. So you are losing a lot. Let's see here, you get one, two, plus three, four, and you take away one, two, three, four, five. So you can see uh, EA values the speed uh, more than anything else. Second to that is probably acceleration, I would say. Uh, but they value that a lot because uh, you're in the negative with Brawler and Sprinter. Now, Brawler for me, for linemen, uh, probably even uh, those defensive linebackers, like the outside uh, ones, the defensive linemen, you know, your rushers. To me, Brawler's the way to go. Yes, you, you lose the acceleration. Uh, but you do have the strength, which you want on your defensive lineman and your, and your offensive line. So that's the way for me to go on that. Now, here's what I would say are uh, what choice I would make uh, to help you guys make a choice, guys. Me personally, it's between Shaker and Acrobat. Okay, now, like I said, Brawler, I would go with offensive lineman, defensive lineman, uh, stuff like that. Even my outside linebackers, my rushers. I would use it on that. Maybe even my middle linebacker, which I think I have it on Sam Mills because he, his acceleration is not too bad. But uh, he does, he is going to lose some agility, uh, change of direction, and minus two acceleration. So you have to make sure the acceleration is really high on that. Uh, you don't need too much agility. You don't need really that much agility on your linemen or your defensive linemen uh, because they're just uh, trying to get through the line. They're not going to be uh, reacting to the ball and stuff like that. That's more for your skill positions. Uh, for instance, like wide receiver, cornerback, um, safeties, things like that. Now, so it's between these two guys, Shaker and Acrobat. Now, 
The choice I made right now is Shaker. Okay, I got about, I don't know, six players with Shaker right now. And this is the reason I did it. Okay, I did it because the plus two acceleration, I think, is very, very nice for a cornerback to break on the ball. Uh, especially, you know, if you got Rod Woodson out there playing the flats and, you know, someone throws a, a flat pass to the um, halfback as they're doing a lot of the tight end. Uh, you want him to react uh, very quickly. Uh, the way he's going to react is by agility, change of direction, and acceleration. The speed, he's going to get to it. Uh, but your acceleration, how you get to the ball, I think is very important for a skill position. Uh, so me personally, uh, I would go with, um, let me go back here. I would go with Shaker. Now, I'm going to lose minus two strength. I don't really care about that on my skill positions. The only thing that I would say is I'm sacrificing one speed. Uh, but to me, honestly, I'd rather sacrifice that one speed than lose all these other things minus uh two acceleration for brawler or minus two strength minus two change of direction and minus two what is it agility on um sprinter so that's my opinion now acrobat acrobat is top two for me uh this will probably be the second one this will probably be the go-to one as players get higher overalls and the reason being is at five components and 15 components that might be the way that the way to go uh is to 15 component components especially on a player uh as we get later in the season we start getting those 97 98 99 overalls we're gonna have some players that get to 99 speed uh kind of like a Tyreek Hill uh probably what Deion Sanders or you know a lot of those speedsters out there uh but anyways guys so maybe acrobat is the way to go and the reason being is all they're gonna do is gain one agility and one change of direction if he has 99 speed already you don't even have to go with the 25 components so you could kind of mix this around you could even put some players with Acrobat, some players with Shaker, depending on their acceleration, depending on what they need, depending on their speed. Uh, that's that's my um, choice uh, is Shaker, uh, but I could probably put some Acrobat on some of the players. Uh, so that way um, it could fill in some things like change direction and agility. Now I have to say Acrobat is really tempting. Uh, the only reason I'm going with Shaker it's because of the plus one acceleration. Now, you do you lose one acceleration on Acrobat uh, as you get to 25 components, which I'll tell you what, if you have a player that has high acceleration, like this one here uh, will probably be good for somebody like Barry Sanders, who'll probably get 99 speed. Maybe Tyreek Hill, because he's going to have high acceleration. He always has high acceleration. Uh, but let me show you all my players, um, what I did. And, and what I have um, right now. Now, training is expensive, so I'm just working through it. Uh, but right here, guys, I got 20 out of 25 brawler. So I'm not at 25 yet. Uh, and I got it on my linemen. I got it on all my linemen. And I do got it on Sam Mills, which I'll show you how he looks with it. Uh, on this team, he has, uh, it does give him a plus one speed. But you can see here, it's acceleration matches the speed, which is really good. That's what you want, guys. Uh, either that or higher. Uh, 81 strength, I do get his strength up, uh, but you can see that that helps him uh, tremendously. Now, eventually as the speed gets higher, I'll probably go with um, a change of direction, one like Acrobat or Shaker, uh, especially if I'm going to user him. But I don't know if I'm going to be using him later in the year as we get these better safeties, just because he does not get the animations that a safety does. Uh, Eric Weddle, I got Shaker. Um, Adrian Peterson, I got Shaker, especially as a user. And um, I got Shaker on Troy Vincent, Ienus Williams, uh, let's see here, Rod Woodson. Uh, and then all my linemen here, the ones that I'm keeping uh, for sure is uh, I'm putting Brawler on. So I'll be putting Brawler on Charles Johnson uh, once training gets cheaper. I do have it on Calais Campbell right now. The reason being this is on my uh, Raven Steam team. I have inside stuff on him and he's been playing really well, so he deserved it. Uh, and then guys on offense, uh, I do got it on my fullback. Uh, the reason I got it on this fullback is to give him that 80 speed. He's pretty slow, uh, but not that, guys. If you look here, is it so, it doesn't show. let me show you his acceleration. He has high acceleration uh, for a fullback, so what helped for him was the um, brawler. As you can see here, he has on the left there, he has 83 acceleration with brawler. He gets his strength up and his speed up. So that one there, just to give you a heads up, uh, the way to go there will probably be brawler. Uh, Lamar Jackson, I did put Brawler on him, and the reason being is he's going to have high speed, high acceleration as the game goes on. You can see he has 90 acceleration, um, but 
Yeah, an agility 89. Uh, now, as he gets in higher card, he'll he'll get human joystick. He'll get all that. So his agility is always going to be high. Uh, last year, what I had on him was Brawler, and it worked out really good. Uh, we'll see how that goes as he gets his cards. Uh, Barry Sanders, I have Brawler on him. He's a, he's a good one. He's a candidate right now for Brawler just because of his high acceleration. It gives him that plus one speed and everything else. You can just see 95 agility. I mean, his stats are incredible right now. Change of direction. So he's always going to have that high agility, high change of direction, and high acceleration. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, I know when I was looking at it, it was very confusing. I hope this clarifies it a bit for you. Let me know if this video helped you all, and I'll talk to you all real soon.